I have face palming right now. Oh, wrong controller, no wonder. <laughs> I'm face palming a second time right now. Because I I just figured out how to get the star. I went to the star twenty times, I swear. With the hundred coin shine, I didn't grab it because I didn't want to get hundred coins. It's actually a very easy shine to get. A very I'm gonna say shine. It's a very easy shine to get. Um Star! Not very far into the level, but easy either, so. If you like uh shines that aren't very far into the level, they're Star! Shine is not very easy into the level. Star! Shut up. They're all shiny, okay? Star. They're all shines. Shine originally was a substitute for Shine Sprite, but now it's Shine Shine is the same thing you grab like Shine Shine Sprite, Shine Star. I'm calling them Shine Stars now, by the way. Shiny stars. Uh, I don't want to go okay. Okay. Look here. And it's just so obvious. I look here like 20 times trying to find coins. And the one thing I never grab is a star. Why? This is why I hate it, because you have to leave after you get a star. Why can't you just stay here, find all five stars, and have an exit door or portal or whatever? Like, Banjo-Kazooie, you guys watch me play that game when I do the LP, you'll see there's actually a door at the beginning of the level, obviously. And once you, you know, once you go in, you can grab as much stuff as you want, and leave at will. And come back and leave, and come back and leave. Well, the, jig the Jiggies, which are the names of the items you collect in that game, work just like the stars, and Mario does. You know, you get so many, you unlock a new level. But the ones there just aren't as good as the ones here. I don't know why. I got 20%, I got to charge up with them too. There we go. There we go. But, like, yeah, watch it. You leave a level. Well, in Banjo Kazooie, you can grab all the items in the level, including all the jigsaw pieces, jiggies. And right back to the entrance, you're out, you're done. This game, you can't do that. Why? I mean, some levels I understand, like, uh, for example, some levels, like, uh, Rainbow Ride, where you can't go back once you got the star, and you'd have to die if you did. But, I mean, they put a second exit there. Really, guys, seriously. Make them po more possible. I mean, uh, we're not that good of gamers. I, I, I'm not that good of a gamer. Most people aren't that good of gamers. It's just, it's just not fair. And I, I, I really don't like it when you guys... When the game companies do these kind of things to us, because it just it pisses me off. It just does. It's like when more obvious methods have been invented, and it's just a year later a game with that obvious method comes out. Banjo Kazooie didn't come out much longer after this game, and if you play it, you'll know it's generally the same kind of thing, same case as this with stars and all that stuff. Well, not stars, but all these. Yeah. Rip off these ones. But, anyways, I'm gonna go for 100 coins. I'm not gonna try for 100 coins, but I'm gonna see if I can do it. If I get the blue coins, good. Then we'll go for 100 coins. If I fail the blue coins, we will grab the first star in the level. Which, not the first star, but it's like the fifth star, but still. So let's see if we can do it. Damn it. Damn it. Looks like we're not, like we're not doing the star. Okay, fine. Screw it. Get out of here. Oh, get a star. Come on. Get out of there. So we only have seven more stars. Fuck! That was not even fair. In most games, getting pushed off the edge by a bob on is to be considered a glitch. In this game, is to be considered a normal death. I'm just pointing that one out to you guys at Nintendo Incorporated, or whatever you call yourselves. From now on, I'm calling you guys. You made Mario too difficult. This is a kid's game. Please let me repeat this. This is a kid's game. Last time I checked, kids at the age limits of a Mario game, just saying, cannot do that. No. No. But then again, last time I checked, kids in the age limit of playing a Zelda game can never get past the first level, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna say okay. You know what? I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna say okay to this. I'm gonna say this is the easiest Nintendo 64 game there is. Arguably, actually, I'm gonna say the Kirby 64 is. Kirby 64 was damn easy. But you know what? This is an easy N64 game. But you know what? It's a hard game. N64, you are a hard system to play. It just everything you everything on this system is difficult. 
Oh, wait, thanks for saving me. <laughs> I did not touch the joystick. I only pressed A when he jumps. <laughs> I, I'm not joking, guys. That was all I pressed was the A button. That's it. <coughs> well, that was a bad joke. <laughs> Your feels make me laugh. Oh my god. I really, then again, then again, say, a lot of kids, I think again, a lot of the reason a lot of the kids failed the 1064 games in general is because he had to read it. <laughs> And no, no kid could read, okay? When I first got my Nintendo 64, I couldn't read. Like, really, guys. I, I understand you didn't have voice chips or any of that back then, but... Or you don't like getting voice actors, it is a waste of time. But I know how that is, guys. I don't. Mean, but seriously. <laughs> you're a game company. If you, if you can't get voice actors, get a job at Bungie. They have, and even they have a voice actor for Halo. They have voice actors in Halo. They have tons of voice actors that are all classics. Yeah. Halo has the best voice actors in the world. I'm not joking. And anyways, what I was saying was, uh, we're gonna get the easy star right here. This is the easiest star in the level right here, next to the red coins. Not even that. This is the easiest one here. No joke. Even the red coins are a little bit harder than this. Shut up. There we go! Another star! This is something I never thought I'd be able to do. Actually win. 114! There are only six more! Five of which are here, one of which is just for the final boss, finishing the game up, just cleaning up our last thing. So, you guys know what that means. I'm gonna need to do something fun. I always do fun stuff, you know, I'm a fun person. And I, I just don't want to end. I, I, I want this LP to end. This is the only LP I've ever wanted to end. Usually at the end of an LP, I'm like a little <coughs> bit like, oh, it's over. Now I gotta find a new game and I don't want to. I wanna play this game more. No! This game, you get no mercy. Mario 64 does not get the same attention that other games do. I'm gonna go this way because I don't feel like going the other way. Another thing, guys, another thing, guys, put more coins in the level like you did in Sunshine. This game, literally, I had to get all the red coins again to get 100 coins. It's just so pointless. Why? What is wrong with you, Nintendo? Why do you have such effed up vibes? Chuck Norris, Ribs, Root Beer, Mountain Dew, Safe Auto, McDonald's, Burger King, Go, uh, Arby's, Cowboys, Race Horses, Robots, your Aliens, mom. Your Mom, My Dad, Me and Your Mom, My Dad. Wait, no, don't say that one. <laughs> what the fuck? I just said me and your mom and my dad. What the fuck? <laughs> that was too gangster. Anyways. I am so fucking white. Anyways. Wait a minute. One, two, three. <coughs> Four. <laughs> We're actually almost done with this game. Wow. I never thought this game would come. <laughs> never thought this game would come. I thought this game would last me forever. You know what? We are near the end of this LP. I officially have done, almost officially have done, a Let's Play of Super Mario 64 and finished it. This is the longest LP I have ever done. Elmo. Although if I had finished... Shut up! I'm trying to say Elmo! If I were actually to have finished my Ocarina of Time LPs, it would be the longest. That is a long fucking game. Okay, someone just before we begin, tell me that does not look like a furnace made in Minecraft. Just saying! Hey! See you next episode, guys. I need to get my charger anyway.